7 Great Tips to Avoid Fluid Retention and Improve Your Circulation Both regular exercise and getting plenty of rest are essential when it comes to preventing fluid retention, because both help to promote its elimination and help detox your body. Edema, otherwise known as fluid retention, is a problem that has become alarmingly more common in recent years. Although it's not a disease by itself, fluid retention can trigger a series of reactions that could alert you of larger disorders such as kidney failure or arthritis. It occurs when fluids become trapped in the body's tissues, increasing levels of inflammation and causing problems with your circulatory and lymphatic systems. The most common symptom is swelling of the limbs, although it can also cause pain, fatigue, and difficulty when performing certain movements. The good news is that there are some healthy practices that can help prevent its occurrence if you do them regularly. Today, we want to share seven of them. 1. Drink more water. Although lots of people find it hard to get enough water every day, it's essential to remember that water is one of the most effective ways to prevent inflammation and excess fluid buildup in the tissues. Water won't increase the amount of fluid in your body, on the contrary, it supports renal function and stimulates the removal of fluid through your urine. The detoxifying and diuretic power of water helps eliminate any waste traveling through your bloodstream, which can influence this disorder. 2. Reduce your salt intake Excessive consumption of salt is one of the main factors related to a tendency to suffer from fluid retention once you reach adulthood. The buildup of sodium causes an imbalance in your electrolyte levels and alters your inflammatory processes. Because of this, it's essential to decrease your consumption of salt with your main meals and remember that you also find high levels of sodium in foods such as sausages canned goods salad dressings and sauces popcorn fried foods and snacks cheeses 3. avoid wearing tight clothing the use of tight clothing is so common nowadays that most people are unaware of the health consequences while it might seem harmless to wear them the pressure that it puts on your body affects your circulation and the processes that drive the normal removal of fluids that's why it's better to choose larger sizes or clothing made of materials that don't constrict your body 4. Get regular exercise Adopting a physical exercise routine is a great way to prevent fluid retention and any other disorders that are associated with it. The movements you perform during each activity can increase the function of your circulatory and lymphatic systems. In turn, this encourages the elimination of fluids and waste. Exercise also benefits the health of your kidneys, improving your production of urine and strengthening the urinary tract. 5. Activate your circulation. Daily healthy habits like massages and cold showers are simple ways to promote good circulation. Although it's easy to ignore it or confuse it with other conditions, fluid drainage problems sometimes have to do with poor circulation. This is why it's necessary to adopt measures that help restore blood flow in order to prevent and treat this condition. 6. Get good sleep. Getting high quality sleep also influences the prevention of edema and other inflammatory conditions. During this time, your muscles relax, circulation flows more easily. In addition, your body performs some essential functions for detox. This promotes the elimination of retained fluids and also increases energy levels for better productivity. 7. Consume more fruits and vegetables. Daily consumption of fresh foods like fruits and vegetables provides your body with a wealth of benefits to relieve fluid retention and inflammation. Their content of antioxidants, water, fiber, and other essential nutrients improve your kidney function. In addition, they also promote the elimination of waste. In turn, this helps control high blood pressure, muscle ailments, and other conditions related to fluid retention.